For step one, we need to create a username called BizHub. Go to the lower left hand corner of your screen and left click the start button. Right click on computer and select manage from the menu. Now left click on the arrow next to local users and groups and right click on the folder labeled users. Select new user from the pop up menu. We're going to give this user a name of BizHub. B I Z H U B. I did it in all lowercase. It doesn't matter if you use uppercase or lowercase. Just make sure you be consistent throughout the whole process. We're going to use um, a default password we like to use, which is exclamation point, uppercase P, A S S W O R D, exclamation point. And we're going to put it in the second box as well to confirm. Now uncheck the first box and check the two middle boxes. So user cannot change password and password never expires. Make sure your screen looks like this before you continue. Now click create to create the username. Click close. Now go up to users and click on users, double click BizHub, click the member of tab, we're going to click users and then click remove, click on OK, and now close that window and that's the end of step one. Step two, we want to create a folder to scan to with the name of my scans and create a desktop shortcut to this folder. Click on the start button in the lower left hand corner of your screen. Now click on computer, double click local disk C, and you can either right click in any space, uh, any white space, and highlight new and select folder. This can also be done with this button up here labeled new folder. And we just want to give that folder a name of my scans. Hit enter. Now right click on the folder go to properties left click on the sharing tab now we want to click share now we created a user named bizhub in step one and we want to allow this user to access to this folder so type b-i-z-h-u-b and click add now bizhub only has the rights to read this folder we want to change this so left click on the arrow and select read and write now left click on the share button at the bottom of the screen just be patient it takes just a moment click on done. So now our folder is shared out and BizHub has access to it. Just to make sure he has full access we're going to left click on advanced sharing, click on permissions, now we're going to click the add button. We're going to add BizHub in here as well so type B-I-Z-H-U-B, left click OK, Basically, if that pops up, that's asking you if you're trying to find that user 
on the domain and yeah, it's a good good example that that did pop up um, I forgot this time but basically from this location we can left click on locations and we want to change that to the computer so just select the computer from the top of the list click OK now if we click OK it'll find BizHub on that local computer and we want to click full control now BizHub has full control of this folder now just for left click OK click OK again and we can left click on the security tab at the top just to make sure BizHub is in here and he has full control so now just close that out last thing you're gonna do is right click on the my scans folder highlight send to from the pop-up menu and left click on desktop create shortcut now we can close this window and that completes step two For step three, we're going to need to set up the OneTouch on the copier in order to scan to the computer. Um, with the Lexmarks, it's going to require that we use the IP address. If you don't have a static IP address or you're not sure whether or not you have a static IP address, um, first off, you probably don't. Well, we can set it up, and I'm going to go through the normal steps to do that, but even after we set this up there's a chance that in a day to a month anywhere in between it could quit working um, the best way to set up scanning for the Lexmarks is to set the computer with a static IP address and this needs to be done by an IT professional or a member of high tech office systems um, yeah, we can do that and just call to find out if you know what the charges are or, you know if we need to come out and do that um, if you're an IT professional you should know the proper steps for setting up a static IP address with that being said let's begin to get the IP address of your computer we're gonna go down to start we're gonna type in CMD in the search box and press enter then we're gonna type in IPCONFIG space forward slash L A L L and we're looking for the IP address which is going to be right here IPv4 address 192.168.1.55 auto configuration DHCP enabled yes so mine is not a static IP address I'm gonna leave it like that for now we'll go ahead and use that for the tutorial so go ahead and write that down 192.168.1.55 now we're gonna to go to the copier and we need the IP address of the copier in order to um, go in there and change settings so go down to the start button we're gonna go to devices and printers or you can go to control panel and then click on view devices and printers now we're gonna click on the printer that we're using we're gonna right click Lexmark X651 is what we're using this tutorial um, should be correct for any of the Lexmarks but we're gonna right click on the printer go to printer properties from the pop-up menu we're going to click on the ports tab at the top and then mouse over between ports and description click and drag to the right and then just scroll down and that will show us the port that's selected which is 192.168.1.66 yours should be different than this so just go ahead and write down what yours is and then we can close this window out and close the printer window now we're going to open the web browser. You can use Internet Explorer. Um, I choose to use Mozilla Firefox. Um, they're just both internet browsers. Yeah, it's perfectly up, you know, perfectly fine to use either one. It's up to you. 
now we're going to highlight the address and delete it we're going to type in the IP address of the copier 192.168.1.66 and then press enter now we're going to click on settings in the left column and then click the bottom of the right column where it says embedded solutions scroll down until you find scan to network go ahead and click on scan to network click configure and we want to add a new scan destination the name of this destination I'm just going to use my first name it's perfectly fine if you want to use office one or lobby or whatever you want to call it that's fine I'm just going to use my first name now here it kind of gives us an explanation um, what it needs to be my server backslash and then my share um, basically that's asking for the name of this computer backslash and the name of the shared folder well, the name of this computer is going to be the IP address we got um, earlier in the video and that is 192.168.1.55 backslash which is right above the enter key and the name of the folder is lowercase my scans scroll down we don't need to put anything in there then use static username and password username is bizhub b i z h u b and the password is exclamation point uppercase p a s s w o r d exclamation point and pdf is fine uh, that's what most everybody uses we're going to allow the user to change uh, the file name if they would like to and we're also going to put a default file name of just scan and we do want to uncheck this enable basic XML index file it's not anything you're gonna need so go ahead and uncheck that it just put unnecessary files on the computer print confirmation page you're gonna know if the scan gets to your computer so it's not necessary to have a confirmation page so go ahead and click no and we're gonna click OK now that scan destination has been created I can go test my scanning and that's the end of step three